Do you live in a city or town? No matter how big or small a town is, there are lots of people and trucks needed to keep things running smoothly. Let's go learn about all the different types of trucks. Look out world, the day's begun. We got work to do, so let's have some fun. There's so much stuff to do right here, but we've got trucks, so there's nothing to fear. The crater moves the dirt around, it helps build roads and our playgrounds. The skid steer may not look so big, but it's great to help us load and dig. The excavator builds new things and helps the park build playground swings. All these trucks work as a team. There's more to do than it may seem. The city trucks go round and round, fixing things while they ride through town. There's lots of different jobs they do, making our city better for me and you. So if you see a truck today, don't be afraid to wave and say, Hello. thank you for all that that you do and making our town better for me and you you're welcome oh no a snowstorm it blocked our roads there's no way that our cars can go but wait i think there is a way the snow plows here to save the day it works in the morning and late at night it clears the snow with all its might they also salt the roads through town to prevent people walking from falling down the city trucks go round and round fixing things while they ride through town there's lots of different jobs they do making our city better for me and you so if you see a truck today don't be afraid to wave and say hello thank Thank you for all that you do and making our town better for me and you. You're welcome. When there's a fire burning now, the fire truck will save our town. Its hoses shoot the water out, they'll save the day, I have no doubt. The parks have lots of grass to mow, so the lawnmower's here to steal the show. Its giant blades go fast and cut, and the vacuum's there to clean things up. The city trucks go round and round Fixing things while they ride through town There's lots of different jobs they do Making our city better for me and you So if you see a truck today Don't be afraid to wave and say Hello. Thank you for all that you do And making our town better for me and you You're welcome. The city trucks go round and round Fixing things while they ride through town There's lots of different jobs they do Making our city better for me and you so if you see a truck today don't be afraid to wave and say hello thank you for all that you do and making our town better for me and you you're welcome i hope you had lots of fun learning about the different types of jobs and trucks that help our cities keep on running smoothly remember that trucks are extremely dangerous and can only be operated by professional truck drivers never go on or near a truck without adult supervision See you again soon! Job Jams! Hi, I'm Chris, and we do RC Car Racing. Start your engines, because today, we're going to the racetrack to race remote control cars. We're going to learn all about the people who build these racetracks and maintain the cars to keep them racing. Let's go! Are you ready? Because today's the day. We're heading to the tracks to have a race. We build these tracks with lots of jumps, because the higher we go, we have more fun. Battery remotes operate the cars We have a steering wheel in case we need to turn hard The tracks have fencing to keep the cars in Now let's see which car is going to win RC cars, they are so fun But they take hard work to make them run We're all lined up in a row On your marks, get set Three, two, one, go! The track's all ready, so grab your remote This knob helps you turn and the other makes you go Never give up and keep racing till the end But look out ahead, I think the track starts to bend You gotta stay focused when you're in a race It's getting real close, who's gonna get first place? You're almost there, I can see the finish line Don't worry if you lose, just give your best try RC cars, they are so fun But they take hard work to make them run We're all lined up in a row On your marks, get set Three, two, one, go! The 
The race is getting close and there's lots of jumps ahead. So I need you to find lots of space around you and get ready to jump with me when I say the word jump. Are you ready? Here we go. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 jump! RC cars, they are so fun But they take hard work to make them run We're all lined up in a row On your marks, get set Three, two, one, go! I hope you had lots of fun at the racetrack today. With lots of practice, you too can start racing remote control cars and building your own racetracks. Hope to see you again soon. Welcome to the Museum of Dinosaurs. Today, we're going to learn about the jobs of paleontologists. Dinosaurs and other animals went extinct a very long time ago. It is our job to find their bones. 60 million years ago, the Earth was ruled by dinosaurs. Then an asteroid came and it wiped them out. Now it's our job to dig them out. So the first thing we do is excavate, searching for any remains. We'll find one bone here and another there. It can take us a lifetime to find a pair. So we dig, dig, dig a hole, hoping to find some dinosaur bones. And we brush, brush, brush them clean. This is the biggest bone I've ever seen. Then we bring them back to study more, to find all of the dinosaurs. We're like a dino scientist. We're paleontologists. Once we find a bone, we take it back to the lab so we could try to match it up with some we already have. We number all the bones and then we store them away. You never know when you'll need them on another day. Then we put the bones together like a puzzle piece. I think this bone here goes next to the knee. We may need a ladder to connect this bone cause this dinosaur was taller than a telephone pole. So we dig, dig, dig a hole. Hoping to find some dinosaur bones And we brush, brush, brush them clean This is the biggest bone I've ever seen Then we bring them back to study more To find all of the dinosaurs We're like a dino scientist We're paleontologists How many dinosaurs were there? Well, we've discovered over 700 Some big, some small, and even ones that could fly So come with me this way and try to name them with me Diplodocus Stegosaurus, Iguanodon, Gigantosaurus, Triceratops, and Allosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex. So we dig, dig, dig a hole, hoping to find some dinosaur bones, and we brush, brush, brush them clean. This is the biggest bone I've ever seen, and we bring them back to study more, to find all of the dinosaurs. We're like a dino scientist. We're paleontologists, so we dig, dig, dig a hole, hoping to find some dinosaur bones, and we brush, brush, brush them clean. This is the biggest bone I've ever seen, and we bring them back to study more, to find all of the dinosaurs. We're like a dino scientist, we're paleontologists. I hope you had lots of fun at the Dinosaur Museum today and learned a lot about paleontologists. There are still plenty more dinosaurs out there to uncover, so keep coming back to dig because you never know when you'll find a bone. Paleontologist is a person who studies ancient life, and that can be everything from big giant cool dinosaurs to tiny little bacteria. It's an enormous amount of work to actually put together like even one dinosaur skeleton. It takes a whole team to excavate those out. One person would spend their whole lifetime if they were trying to excavate out one dinosaur. Get them safely out of the rock, get them stabilized so they're not falling apart. That's where the magic happens here at the paleontology lab. It can take a month or more to prepare just one dinosaur bone. If you look at a skeleton of over 200 bones, quickly add that up, that's your whole life, right? What I love most about just paleontology in general is just how bizarre and weird 
the, this earth that we live on used to be and the weird and insanely crazy creatures that used to roam around and just being able to learn more about these bizarre animals that shared our earth is just absolutely fascinating to me and has been fascinating ever since I was a tiny little kid. Um, so I was the, the very much three-year-old boy geeked out on dinosaurs and I'm still that three-year-old boy today. Jump Jams! Hi, I'm an adoption specialist and I help animals find their new home. Welcome to the Animal Adoption and Rescue Center. Sometimes pets get lost and lose their home. It is our job to go out to find them and help them find a new loving family. Come learn about how we do our jobs. Who is there to help when a pet goes astray? There is no one there to care for them if they run away. It is scary on their own, so sometimes they might hide. So it is our job to go out and bring them back inside. First we check them carefully to see if they're hurt. Then we nurse them back to health and clean off all of their dirt. Then we give them food and water and some time to play. Then it's off to the kennel where it's time to get trained. Today's the day that we make new friends that wag their tails and have four legs. The cats go meow and the dogs go woof. We love them and they love us. Today's the day that we make new friends that wag their tails and have four legs. The cats go meow and the dogs go woof. We love them and they love us. Class is in session, we have much to do. We must train the pets some things so they can live somewhere new. We teach them some commands like how to sit and stay. Then we take them outside because they love to play. Pets can take a lot of work and lots of time. We have to feed and give them water so that they can survive. They love going on a leash and going out for a walk. Pets can be our best friends even though they don't talk. Today's the day that we make new friends that wag their tails and have four legs. The cats go meow and the dogs go woof. We love them and they love us. Today's the day that we make new friends that wag their tails and have four legs. The cats go meow and the dogs go woof. We love them and they love us. So you think you like pets and want to bring one home? We'd be happy to help, but there's some things to know. All the pets are different with their shapes and size. You can play with them first so you can give them a try. Once you picked your pet, you can buy them some toys. Some for them to chew on and some that make some noise. Then you give them a name and we'll print them a tag. Look how happy they are, you can see it's tail wag. Today's the day that we make new friends that wag their tails and have four legs. The cats go meow and the dogs go woof. We love them and they love us. Today's the day that we make new friends that wag their tails and have four legs. The cats go meow and the dogs go woof. We love them and they love us. Today's the day that we make new friends that wag their tails and have four legs. The cats go meow and the dogs go woof. We love them and they love us. We are so happy we could help you find your pet. Pets are a lot of responsibility to take care of, so you must ask your parents to help you adopt a pet and to take care of them. Pets can be our best friends, so we must take extra special care of them and treat them like family. Jump Jams! Hi, we're musicians! Welcome to music school. Today, we're going to pick out an instrument to learn and join a rock band. We're going to learn what it takes to play an instrument and make some music. So grab your instrument and let's go. Come join the band today. There's lots of different instruments you can play. The keyboard, guitar, the drums or bass. They all work together and have their place. Now it's time to meet your teacher and learn some things. The guitar and the bass, you have to pluck the strings. The drums create the groove and make the beat. And the keyboard does it all and sounds so sweet. We're all rock stars in our rock band We all play a part and lend a hand We practice every day and work real hard Cause that's what it takes to be a rock star We rock, 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 rock it away So grab your instrument and let's go play We gotta rock, rock, rock to all of our fans So grab your instrument and come join the band Practice makes perfect is what they say And it only takes about 10 minutes a day There's exercises we do to help our fingers get strong Then we practice some more by learning our favorite songs Making music so fun, but it can be hard But learning a new, new song feels like a reward 
So don't give up and you'll go far You can play for fun or to be a rock star We're all rock stars in our rock band We all play a part and lend a hand We practice every day and work real hard Cause that's what it takes to be One, a rock two, star three, four. Rock, 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 rock it away So grab your instrument and let's go play We gotta rock, rock, rock to all of our fans So grab your instrument and come join the band one of the most fun parts about playing with a band is doing a solo. This is where each instrument takes a turn playing by themselves and showing off their skills. Let's hear each instrument do a solo. Let's start with the drums. Now the bass. The keyboard. And finally, the guitar. Listen to them go! We're all rock stars in our rock band. We all play a part and lend a hand. We practice every day and work real hard. Cause that's what it takes to be a rock star. We rock, 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 rock it away. So grab your instrument and let's go play. We gotta rock, rock, rock to all of our fans. So grab your instrument and come join the band. We rock, 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 rock it away. So grab your instrument and let's go play. We gotta rock, rock, rock to all of our fans. So grab your instrument and come join the band. Wow, listen to the audience cheer. They loved it. Thanks for coming to play some music with our band today. Learning an instrument can be a challenge, but it's lots of fun. And the more you keep playing, the better you'll get. So pick an instrument and start learning some music today. Smell that? It smells like bread being baked. And today, we're going to the bakery to learn how bakers make all their delicious treats throughout the night so that they're fresh and ready for breakfast. So come to the kitchen and let's get started. Welcome to the kitchen, yeah, isn't it cool? We've got ovens and mixers and lots of other tools. We have all of our ingredients ready to go, but no matter what we make, it all starts with some dough. We mix flour in water, then we roll it out, then we measure things precisely so we have no doubts. We make pizzas, bagels, cakes, and pies. There's so much to make, but even more to try. This is the baking song, so grab yourself an apron and clap along. This is the baking song, so grab yourself an apron and sing along. Cause we bake, bake, bake all through the night. And we bake, bake, bake until it tastes just right. Yeah, we bake, bake, bake and we don't stop. So come take a visit to our bake shop And we bake, 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 bake and bake some more You can smell our treats from out the door Yeah, we bake, bake, bake and we don't stop So come take a visit to our bake shop If you want, you can make all our stuff at home Cause we also sell some of our raw dough Like this pizza crust here or the pretzel over there You can even bake cookies just as long as you share We love having how it tastes and also how it looks You can watch it change color as the dough starts to cook When it's ready we like to add a finishing touch So we add powdered sugar, just don't add too much This is the baking song So grab yourself an apron and clap along This is the baking song So grab yourself an apron and sing along Cause we bake, bake, bake all through the night And we bake until it tastes just right Yeah, we bake, bake, bake And we don't stop So come take a visit to our bake shop And we bake, 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 bake And bake some more You can smell our treats from out the door Yeah, we bake, bake, bake 
and we don't stop. So come take a visit to our bake shop. Treats, treats, yeah, we love treats. Cause they smell so good and they taste so sweet. I said treats, treats, yeah, we love treats. Cause they smell so good and they taste so sweet. Cause we bake, bake, bake all through the night. And we bake, bake, bake until it tastes just right. Yeah, we bake, bake, bake and we don't stop. So come take a visit to our bake shop And we bake, 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 bake and bake some more You can smell our treats from out the door Yeah, we bake, bake, bake and we don't stop So come take a visit to our bake shop Thanks for coming out to help us bake some treats today. There are so many different types of treats you can bake, and they are all so delicious. Just be sure to always have an adult around to help you in the kitchen so that they come out tasting just right. Come back to the bakery again soon. Do you hear that thumping noise? That's the sound our heart makes when it's beating. And today, we're going to take a closer look inside our bodies and learn all about what doctors do. So grab your white lab coats and let's go. We're going to the doctors today. They're here to keep us healthy, so don't be afraid. There's lots of different doctors in many different kinds, but the first thing they'll do is check your vital signs. They use a stethoscope to check your heartbeat. It goes bump ba dump just like a drum beats. Then they check your pulse to see how your blood flows cause the heart pumps blood from your head to your toes doctor doctor i need your help today i'm not feeling so well i need your knowledge and expertise about my body and about my teeth i said doctor doctor i need your help today i'm not feeling so well i need your knowledge and expertise about my body and about my teeth once they've checked your vital signs, it's time the doctor goes and takes a look inside. We start off with your nose and your ears and clean them out to make sure that you can smell and can hear. Then they use something called an ultrasound machine, which shows your heart, lungs, and veins on a computer screen. But that's not all it can do much more. It can also look at babies before they're born. Doctor, doctor, I need your help. Today I'm not feeling so well. I need your knowledge and expertise about my body and about my teeth. I said, Doctor, doctor, I need your help. Today I'm not feeling so well. I need your knowledge and expertise about my body and about my teeth. Our body's all good, but there's one more stop It's time to go see the doctor who makes you say ah They focus on your teeth and that is it So these are the doctors we call a dentist They check your teeth and give them a clean And then fill the teeth holes called cavities But you'll only get these if you don't brush well So brush twice a day or the dentist can tell Doctor, doctor, I need your help Today I'm not feeling so well I need your knowledge and expertise about my body and about my teeth I said, doctor, doctor, I need your help Today I'm not feeling so well I need your knowledge and expertise about my body and about my teeth there are so many different types of doctors, and they all focus on different parts of our bodies. Let's learn about some of them. Doctors who only focus on your brain are called neurologists. Doctors who only focus on your eyes are called optometrists. Doctors who only focus on your heart are called cardiologists. And doctors who focus on your skin are called dermatologists. Let's review. Doctor for the brain, neurologist. Doctor for the eyes, optometrist. Doctor for the heart, cardiologist. And doctor for the skin, dermatologist. Great job. Doctor, doctor, I need your help. Today I'm not feeling so well. I need your knowledge and expertise about my body and about my teeth. I said, doctor, doctor, I need your help. Today I'm not feeling so well. I need your knowledge and expertise about my body and about my teeth. I hope you had fun in the lab today, learning all about doctors. 
doctors go to school for a very long time to make sure they are trained properly to know everything about our bodies. They keep us healthy and help us when we get sick. They can even save people's lives. See you again soon. Welcome to the Pickle Factory. Today, we are going to learn how pickles are made. Pickles are just vegetables that we soak in vinegar for a long time. Now, let's go learn how they're made. We need cucumbers that are crisp and fresh. We want them dark green so they turn out best. First, we need to wash them so we get them all clean. Then we cut them with a knife and put them through this machine. Now it's time to pack them, so we pull out a jar We got lots more to do, but this is great so far We pack them all together, so it's nice and tight We don't wanna rush, we wanna do it just right Pickles could be sour and pickles could be sweet But some people think pickles smell like feet Some like the pickles soggy, some like them with the crunch You can put them on your sandwich, they go great with your lunch Step two is my favorite part This is how we make the pickles taste so tart We use vinegar as a liquid base Then add salt, herbs, and spices to give it more taste Mix them in a pot and turn the heat up high We can take a little break and let it boil for a while Once the liquid's ready, we can turn off the stove Pour it over all the pickles till the jar is all full Pickles could be sour and pickles could be sweet But some people think pickles smell like feet Some like the pickles soggy, some like them with the crunch You can put them on your sandwich, they go great with your lunch There's a few different flavors and some different kinds We can add some extra peppers to give it more spice And if you don't like that, I know there's one that you will We just add a little garlic and add a little dill Our pickles are all finished, so we close it with the top Then it's off to the restaurants and some other shops I I know they might look gross, but there's nothing to fear My favorite type of pickles are shaped like a spear Pickles could be sour and pickles could be sweet But some people think pickles smell like feet Some like the pickles soggy, some like them with the crunch You can put them on your sandwich, they go great with your lunch Phew! All this talk about pickles is really starting to make me hungry And since pickles are a healthy snack, we can crunch on them anytime So I think it's time to take a crunch break Cause pickles make me wanna crunch Yeah, they make me wanna crunch I said they make me wanna crunch Crunch Yeah, they make me wanna crunch Crunch, 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 crunch. Pickles could be sour and pickles could be sweet But some people think pickles smell like feet Some like the pickles soggy, some like them with the crunch You can put them on your sandwich, they go great with your lunch Pickles could be sour and pickles could be sweet But some people think pickles smell like feet Some like the pickles soggy, some like them with the crunch You can put them on your sandwich, they go great with your lunch Thanks for coming out to help us make pickles today. You can make your own pickles at home. Just get some cucumbers, vinegar, herbs, and spices, and an adult to help you out. And it isn't just cucumbers either. You can pickle any vegetable, like onions, cauliflower, and anything else you can think of. So have fun making your pickles, and don't forget to take a crunch break whenever you get hungry. Jump Jam! Hi, I teach figure skating. Welcome to the ice skating rink. Today, I'm going to teach you how to ice skate. So grab some warm, comfy clothes, a pair of snug-fitting ice skates, and a helmet for protection. Now let's get out there. Okay, so now we're ready to skate. Let's lace up tight, and then we're on our way. You don't have to rush, we can start real slow. First, we'll practice taking steps till you're ready to go. Once we're on the ice, we gotta learn to glide So we push to the left, and then we push to our right We have bubbles you can chase, or you can practice your moves I think you've got the hang of it, you're starting to groove We're spinning round and round, skating in circles on frozen ground Yeah, we're spinning round and round, skating in circles on frozen ground yeah, you're getting it, look at you go But we're not done yet, there's plenty more to know We can't always go straight, so we must learn 
how to go in a circle so that we can turn We use orange cones to practice in and out That was such a great move, that's what I'm talking about Figure skating so fun and there's much more to do Every day's a new day that we can learn something new We're spinning round and round Skating in circles on frozen ground Yeah, we're spinning round and round Skating in circles on frozen ground Oh no, it seems we're going too fast If we don't slow down, then we're going to crash So now I think it's time I teach you how to break You just widen up your stance and turn your skates Even while you're learning, you still might fall But that's okay, cause it's part of it all Now get out there and skate, cause you're ready to go And practice makes perfect in case you didn't know We're spinning round and round Skating in circles on frozen ground Yeah, we're spinning Round and round, skating in circles on frozen ground Alright, it's time we take a little spin break And try joining in on the fun So find some room around you Where you can spin around like a figure skater All you gotta do is put your arms out wide And spin in circles We're spinning round and round Yeah, we're spinning round and round We're spinning, 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 spinning Round and round and round we go We're spinning round and round Skating in circles on frozen ground Yeah, we're spinning Frozen ground, yeah, we're spinning round and round, skating in circles on frozen ground. I hope you had lots of fun learning to ice skate today. People of all ages love to ice skate, both adults and kids. Just remember to always wear a helmet for protection since the ice is very hard. So continue to practice and work on your spinning, and you'll be a pro in no time. Hi, I'm a hockey coach. Welcome to hockey practice. Today, I'm gonna to show you everything you need to know about playing hockey, from ice skating to scoring goals and everything in between. So come join the team and let's have some fun. Don't get on the ice, we're not ready yet. There's equipment that you need before you take a step. We need a helmet, a stick, and a pair of ice skates. Some gloves for your hands before you're ready to play. First let's practice skating to our left and our right It can be a bit tricky when you're walking on ice It's normal to fall when you're learning to skate So if you fall down seven times just get up eight The whistle blows so it's time to go We can celebrate a little when we score a goal Just have some fun, work hard and play And if you wanna get better, practice every day I think you've got the hang of it so let's do more You gotta learn to use your stick if you wanna score We practice handling the puck around the cones You gotta get in the ground so you can stay in the zone Now pass it to your teammates by using your stick You can give it a slap or you can give it a flick Or if you're open for the shot then it's your chance to score Don't worry if you miss, that's what practice is for The whistle blows so it's time to go We can celebrate a little when we score a goal Just have some fun, work hard and play And if you wanna get better, practice every day The period is over so let's take a break we just worked hard so our bodies might ache But let's listen up close to what the coach has to say You wanna know what to do when you get in the game The Zamboni then takes over the ice It's there to smooth it out and make it look nice Then we sharpen our skates so it's easy to glide Now let's get back out there, the game is tied The whistle blows so it's time to go We can celebrate a little when we score a goal Just have some fun, work hard and play And if you wanna get better, practice every day The whistle Blow, so it's time to go We can celebrate a little when we score a goal Just have some fun, work hard and play And if you want to get better, practice every day Well, that's the end of hockey practice I hope you had fun and learned a lot today It will take more than one day to get good at hockey So make sure to practice every day So one day you can play in the professionals Yeah.